Welcome back guys to Oakfield Farm. We're about to go and try and cultivate and seed. It has been snowing as you would have seen in the last episode. We did get the snow blow the snow um plow up to come and play. And we are now trying to make our way to the field. If I could show you the map would be good. Open that to you. So we are going up. It is a long drive. Well, we're nearly at the field already, but we are really struggling with the bringing everything up here. We did actually have to put a weight on the track on this tractor just to get trying. Look at that. We're on max RPM as well, just to try and get the tractor up here with the cultivator. Trying to avoid collision here. There's our snow snow plant. It's cleared a bit more of the pathway up here. Now what I am gonna do is stop it here and jump into the snow plow. Oh wrong button. Wrong vehicle shall I say? I'm gonna jump in oh why is it not let me jump into this? There you go. So I'm gonna turn down because I want to get this done to get it all set up for day two. This is still the end of day one. I'm just gonna get this set up. Run back. Should be far enough away. Oh, what the hell happened there? Oh dear. We could have some nightmares now. Hopefully not, it should just be a straight. Nope. This one. I don't know why it does this. Come to me in the previous recording. I thought better get stuck. So, now my plan is just to set this up to the vehicle in front. And we're going to plow ahead. I'm going to set it to about the same speed as the. We're going to set it to 10 miles an hour or kilometers per hour. Seven, I think it should be. And obviously, we've got to stick to the main road as we're going to lose that coals later. So, what I'm trying to do is clear a bit more of the pathway on this nearer side. Hopefully this time we won't suffer any issues. We're nearly at the field anyway, but just gonna show you once again where we're going. We're going to field 13, which is on the left, just here, but we're gonna use our pathway to connect up to it. Still behind us? Yep. It's actually done a really good job there. Oh, 
to the back of us, but you did. So, we're going to jump in this. Disable. Follow me. Now, climb the bus back. Now, my plan is I'm going to open this guy up. Uh, lower it, but not turn it on. Maybe, and see if that goes anything to the ground. The ground's still frozen, so there's not really what we can do. Apart from the power, maybe. So what I'm going to do is make sure it's set to the power. No power. Wave for the now. Turn that off. We don't need them. Should really take them back to the yard, but what we are going to do. As you know, let's do that first. Take this guy back to the yard before I forget. We can't use him. Nothing out in here. Headlights on. Oh god. I'm going to back out again then. I don't know why compass is still showing. Kind of annoying. But. I'm going to have a look to see if I can get rid of that. I do like the fact that the bus tells me exactly where I'm going, but it's kind of irritating. I'm going to take this back to the yard. Let's see what I can do. That's it. I thought I might have lost that. But yes, yeah, so we're going to take this back to the yard really quickly. And then we'll come back up in a moment. Could have got the worker to take this back for us, but. That was a bit faster than maybe it should have been. And that would be my own fault. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in just one of our storage sheds for now. Maybe, I don't know if I'll put it straight back in to the usual home, maybe I'll just park it up in one of these. Because we are going to need it. Yeah. 
quickly run up on the tab up. I can't try to run it, it's too far. And we're gonna try and get this ground ready to be poured out. Now, there's two ways of doing this. I know, but I'm gonna quickly try and do it as fast as possible. Try and pull this ground out a little bit faster. Once we've got the edge sorted, then we know where we're working, roughly, give it a break, a bit off, I just want to try and pull this ground out as fast as we can. It's the biggest field, so we do want to get it sorted as fast as possible. But with more snow on its way, I don't know how to turn it around yet. We don't need to put the um, beacon lights on, we're not doing any work for the council. That's good, that was good, pretty good. Any time of day. I know it does remove parts of the build of that, but it's not really a big build. Yeah, so we're going to have to go back to the yard, and this will be day two's job to plough this field. We definitely need to get some food, sleep, hard to grass in. Imagine there's some more snow than I thought. There you go. I'm just using this line again. We'll do one more lap now. I think we're going to have to go, oh, go back to the yard and get some sleep. Get the weeds from the field as well while we're doing it. Just using this. Go around the outskirts of this area. Oh god. I don't know if I can go through that. No. I think no, it's good or not. I'm just going to carry on. One more map, I think. Half a lap left to go, and then that will be that for today. So we've done quite a bit of work in just one day. We've cleared a pathway from here to the yard. Temperatures are supposed to warm up a little bit but not massively as the week goes on. Which is a bit frustrating because we are expecting more snow whether it will settle on it's a different story. But the sun is beginning to set so I don't actually know if we're getting off it. No we should be able to get to I do want to show the beacon lights though they do look cool. I'm just sitting reflecting off the um, shovel at the front there. 
Oh god, I've done it. There we go. So the ground temperature is minus 10 at the moment. Which isn't the greatest, not what you want to be seeing when you're trying to get stuff ready for spring and summer. So a couple more times. And where are we when the map? Because I do want to head back to the yard, so yeah. We'll do this line here. Let's see what's done, that's really good. I'm gonna disable the quick camera thing at some point. That's the one mod that for me just doesn't I don't enjoy using it. I am still ploughing, if anyone asking. I'm wondering why I'm just sitting here talking, but I am still ploughing away. As we get closer to the exit. I'm just gonna slow it down. Oh I've gone the wrong way. I want to go the other way. So we can continue ploughing on the way to the exit. Don't think we want to get a good night's sleep ahead of a good couple of days of hard graft. Temperatures should improve tomorrow. Like today it was minus 20 and what? Well, highs of minus 16, lows of minus 20. So we're going to head back to the yard now, get some sleep. Oh god, I've done it again. I need to look. I keep looking at the time thinking, hmm, I'm going to run out of time here. But we've done alright. Let's put the lights on. go back to the yard here. Let's cruise back to the yard. Nice and easy. So as you guys can probably see, top right corner it tells you the weather. Um, so yeah, we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on that. We're still planning that on the way down here, but the plan never stops. So we're going to pop this up and go back into the yard. Indicate run. Try to avoid the cedar, the um, stuff we've placed. And what I am going to do, because we are going to use this area to the right, is I'm going to park it around here, but clear it as we go around it. Doesn't need to be spot on. Spin it around here. Have a nice pathway for us to use in the morning. And the quick walk us back because it's getting late. Very late actually, the time's going to be a bit too quick. Nice and back. It's like the last job of the day anyway. It's actually been more power. But it's not a bad thing. It's just preparation work at the moment. Before the hopefully ground starts to pour out. Maybe just start planting our crops. Apparently built for the year ahead. It's gonna go quite far back with it. Nice area. I don't think it's gonna fit in there. I'm thinking to dump it in here, this storage yard here maybe. Engine off. Oh wait. Lights off. Make sure everything's locked up for the night. And we're gonna go and get some sleep. I'm gonna go shut our gate.
Let's see if I can get to it. Shut the gate, ready for them to get some sleep. That's now done. Let's go cook ourselves some dinner. What have we got? Have we got anything in? Doesn't look like it. Let's just probably order in a takeaway then. But anyway, guys, we are now at home. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, make sure you do smash a like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all very soon. Thank you so much for watching.